Hi everyone, I'm Jen Rothstein, author of the Heaven Sent series. My new book, Atonement, is out now. You can check it out on Amazon or via my website at jlrothstein.com. Welcome to my video series, Three Questions With. I hope these bite-sized videos will spotlight the many creative people I have come to know on social media. To demonstrate what the video will be like, I have roped my amazing husband, Alan, into doing this first one with me. So welcome, Alan. Hello. <laughs> Alan is a big comic book fan, so that's going to be the topic of this first segment. But these will vary depending on the guests, obviously. Uh, the most important part will be helping fellow artists to showcase their work in a very fun and relaxing way. So I'm going to jump right in and ask my first question. Alan, name one of your favorite comic book series and why. Uh, let's see. Well, there's a number that a number of series that I really like, but there's one I'm going to show. It's called Saga. Uh, I really like it just because the author did an amazing job. Uh, with world building. I mean, truly incredible with it. It's, uh, you know, there's no earth, there's no humans in it, uh, but, you know, it made characters that you really care about and, you know, whether it's highs, the lows, tragedies, it's just, you know, the writing really sucks you in. Excellent. So my, uh, for myself personally, I am a comic book novice. I, as you know, I didn't know anything about comic books before we met. So my favorite series is American Vampire. And I don't know how well you can really see that. Uh, this is, the writing is amazing by Scott Snyder. And it's probably my favorite artwork of all the comic books that I've read. Uh, the artist is Raphael Albuquerque and he's amazing. Um, I feel like the story is not your typical vampire story. So I liked that about it. I also like that it had a very strong uh, female lead. So uh, let's jump to my second question, which is what makes you stop and pick up a comic book? It's well, going away from all the, the Batman, Spider-Man, Superman's, you know, it's, it's looking at a comic book that I don't no, you know, don't know anything about or, or anything like that, it really comes down to the cover. So for instance, here's a book called Monstrous that's not by Marvel or, or DC Comics. Um, it's even though I've heard some good things about it, but because the artwork, I finally decided to actually spend money and, and pick it on up. Uh, something else I could show, I could tell you about, there's another one. This is a book, I don't know how well you can see it, but Harleen. It's again, it's, it's a story of Holly Quinn and it's just a different alternate version, alternate universe thing of her origin. Not something I would normally care about to, to read because I just want the main continuity, but the artwork was so gripping, I, I had to buy it. And, and the artwork that's, that's one of my favorite ones too. If you don't mind holding that back up and maybe going a little bit closer, because I mean, that it just kind of jumps right up off the cover. I know, zoom maybe isn't doing it really yeah. justice but absolutely fabulous cover so uh i i agree with that one and also something so for myself uh w one day i walked through the comic book and i actually this is so bad i don't actually know who did this but i know it's i, I believe it's not marvel uh either uh but this one is bone parish and it's yeah, got yeah, this person right. in like yeah it's got this person in like a gas mask suit and it's all yellow and they they're wearing gloves and they appear to be starting a fire and i just thought i don't know what that is and it's it's a female i'm like i don't know what that is or what she's doing but i definitely want to find out so i agree that a lot of times it's the cover that draws your eye over there to review the book itself which in a lot of cases same thing with an actual fictional story when we're walking through the bookstore a lot of times you and i pick up a book um, purely based on the cover. Um, yeah. So my last question would be, what's more important in a comic book, the writing or the artwork? Uh, which is kind of a trick question because <laughs> it <clears throat> you have to have both. It's uh, you, you can have either a good story or you can have good artwork that'll get you to the book. But if you're going to stay a reader, you have to have both that that are that are good. I've had a number of series that I've stopped picking up. Uh, either because the artwork was great, but the story wasn't good, or the story was good that I really liked, but the artwork was so bad, in, in my opinion, for what I like for artwork, I just, I couldn't keep picking it up. But here's an example of one, uh, the Kingdom Come series, which is great writing and great artwork. Um, and it's just, it's when you get both uh, that all kind of go together, that's kind of when you have something special. So it's the same thing with, uh, you know, for uh, any paperback books or eBooks, anything like that. Uh, you know, when you have 
uh, you know, a great cover and then a great story, it's going to keep you coming and, and wanting to read more. Yeah, I don't know if this is different because I am a writer and because I'm used to reading books before, before having met you, I didn't really know anything about comic books or really appreciate the writing in comic books. But obviously, one of my favorite authors, Neil Gaiman, wrote a rather infamous, come to find out, Sandman story, which changed a lot of things. Um, and I know that the lighting in here is not the best, so that's not doing the best thing. But I probably would have read it whether I like the comic book artwork or not. Um, and that just proves what a great writer uh, Neil Gaiman is. But I also picked up this gem, uh, Amber Blake, which is not only fabulous artwork, but also great writing and keeps you in the story. And I actually kind of like the comic books that are different size, you know, not the typical, this one is sort of like, a, whatever they call it, extra large, or whatever, almost looks like a magazine size. Yeah, yeah, yeah magazine so size. Book. All right, perfect. Well, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. This was a very quick bite-sized video um, talking about comic books. I hope everyone who tuned in to watch it really enjoyed it. And now let's give them a big, big shout out uh, for thank you for, for joining and thank you for doing this with me. And I really appreciate it. You're the best. And, and I hope I'm everybody has a, the pig. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody has a fabulous uh, week and uh, abundance to everybody. So thank you. Hi.